Gruesome Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am your host, Jeff Moore. This is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in theatrical release, streaming, and video on demand horror movies. Each week, Dr. Rotten, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Bear, Christopher G. Moore, and I look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. However, not with us this week is Doc Rotten. <sighs> not feeling well, and which is sad because we have some... I know he loves talking about movies. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I am joined with Crystal Cleveland, the living dead girl. Crystal, how you doing? I'm great. You're like, we have some maybe good or not so good movies. I don't know. We haven't talked about it yet. Well, so. I, you know what? I, I, my brain still goes into when we used to do multiple movies in a night. So yes. To say we have some yep, good yep. movies tonight, kind of, uh, you know, anyway. It's, I feel the same way. I'm like, we have some good one. One good one. So how how you doing since uh, an hour and a half ago when I asked you last time? I'm fabulous. <laughs> Good. We recorded decades of horror eighties for you people out there earlier than this, so we have to act like we're all new and fresh. Like, oh, uh, what's up? Good so good to see yeah. you. So, uh, also rounding out the crew is Christopher G. Moore. Oh. You doing, Christopher? I'm doing good. Just no, Jeff. Don't get on my bad side. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna look through a God. food products. Oh my God, God, that's freaking hilarious. If, if that's you awesome. have to see the movie I, to get that joke, so yeah, you yeah. need to watch. Excuse it. me, I've got to go boil some vegetables. <laughs> yes, or, or some sausages <laughs> or something. I forget what it was. Anyway, all right, let's get back on track. So, oh my God. Um, so what we're going to do here is review a uh, movie that's going to streaming, and uh, we'll do some first impressions and. Uh, Try not to spoil it, and then we'll go into spoilers. So we'll let you know when we do that. Our uh, movie tonight is The Innocence from IFC Midnight. It will be available streaming on Shutter beginning August 18th, 2022. So about a week from the day as we uh, record this. Uh, written and directed by Eskel Volk. Uh, by the way, this is a Norwegian film. Uh, the cast is Raquel Lenora Flatum, Alva Brinsmo Romstead, Sam Ashraf, Mina Yasmin Bremseth Ashheim, Ellen Dorrit Petterson, and Morten Svartveit. So you can tell you're heavily, heavily Greek, I mean, German inf influenced. That's awesome, actually uh love it yeah and i well anyway um <laughs> don't ask me to say any names that i haven't already looked at because then we're on your own uh the synopsis during the bright nordic summer a group of children reveal their dark and mysterious powers when the adults aren't looking in this original and gripping supernatural thriller playtime takes a dangerous turn mm. Mm. Dun, dun. All right. So, uh, like I said, we will go with uh, Crystal Cleveland yep. first. What are your first yep, impressions? Go and remember, first. no spoilers yet. So, well, this is unexpected. This is unexpected. Okay. Oh, so, I went backwards. Uh, I'm sorry. I that's that. okay. <laughs> now it's you, Christopher. You're on. Maybe Crystal you magically changed to Christopher. You can tell I'm. I'm hey, you know what? Actually, I just did my. I just did my juju. It's like one of those body switch movies, like I'm yeah. just the Cleveland. I'm the Living Dead girl. La la la. Um, <laughs> best in person impersonation ever. Um, uh, <laughs> let me just say, I know, I know we're giggling right now, but this film is is oh, the yeah. opposite of innocent. <laughs> and let me say, uh, this is a definition of trigger warning. Is <laughs> this movie? Mm -hmm uh if you don't like uh animals getting hurt if you don't like children getting hurt <laughs> um this film has a little bit of everything uh this is a very a very dark film and um i will say you know they always say some films are a slow burn this is a slow drip because <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it's very 
it's very spread out. And I think that's my only gripe for it. It it's too long. I feel like this film probably forty minutes could have been cut out of it. Um, it's it it really goes at a very slow pace throughout. I don't think it even like speeds up at any time. And I think sometimes that's to its detriment because it's like I kept looking at my watch. Uh, but I will say the performance by these kids are amazing. Uh, although it, it definitely doesn't make me want to have kids anytime soon because a lot <laughs> yeah. of these kids are very creepy. Um, I think um, uh, the one girl uh, who's uh, uh, mentally disabled, uh, whoever that actress is, she does an amazing job in that role. Um, it, it, it almost has a hint of like uh, Stephen Kingish, I guess. Um, a little bit of Stranger Things, I guess, if, if you didn't want like any happy stuff happening in Stranger Things. <laughs> if you took all the happy stuff, all the That's fun true. stuff, and you just made it about uh, kids with powers. Although I will say they don't really explain anything <laughs> as to what's happening. So if you're expecting some kind of explanation why uh, I'll say supernatural things are happening. I mean, and um, but um, I will say I, I'm I like the the filmmaking in parts. There's parts where they they the, they fly the camera upside down in certain scenes. It's very it's it's haunting but beautiful at the same time. I like those parts, but I, overall the content of it really kind of icked me out. I I, I really made I felt very uncomfortable, probably for a good reason. If you're feeling comfortable in a lot of the scenes, then maybe you need to seek some help. Um, but. Uh, I thought it had a very interesting plot, had some good performances, but I think it's it's a little too spread out uh, and a little too stretched out story wise for uh, for its own good. So that that's probably my biggest issue with it. But I, I did like some of the filmmaking. I love the performances in it. So I think it's definitely something uh, that's it's it's an interesting watch. <laughs> I'll just say that much. Okay. Okay. Uh, Crystal, how about you? Okay. Uh, um, I, I really mean it this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is an interesting movie. I I want to start by saying I, I actually <clears throat> really like this film. It's simple, really, because you... Pretty much the whole thing is shot in an apartment complex, I guess, um, inside and outside with four children who are the main characters. And each one does an amazing job in their roles. And and they're all actually really cute kids until, you know, one of them really has a, he's a psychopath. Oh. I gave something away. They are a psychopath. <laughs> Pronouns. Um, <clears throat> but I agree with Christopher that this movie is definitely not for everybody. One, because it is slow, but two, because, yeah, oh, it's, it's oddly, it's, it's, it's really abusive in a lot of ways. Okay. So, there's a lot of abuse in different ways and that it, it's weird that uh, you know while watching this i was like oh i could see how that i somehow was able to remain objective about it so it that helped but i think a lot of people won't be able to so i was able to just watch it and like i i think it was just because these kids just the looks on their faces and the way that they looked at each other and how serious they were and how odd the whole concept was because you just start out and they just it's just very weird it's just weird it's just it's got this weird vibe to the whole film but oh. i loved it i i loved it and enjoyed it i it, it's i wish i could explain it better i wish i could explain the feeling of it um but man those kids those kids were like even like one of them when she smiled she was so precious and cute and you could see the dynamics of how she was really trying to maneuver these kind of adult situations with 
uh, I don't know. I just, I, I think it was, I think it's a really unique film and I really enjoyed it, but it's definitely not for everybody. Yeah. I'm, I wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't argue with that. Um, I absolutely love this movie. It is close to two hours long and I could see how it seems long, but it didn't, it didn't feel long to me. I wasn't, looking at my watch, I was engrossed by what was going on. Uh, the four kids are awesome. Uh, and the, the one sister, the oldest one, uh, the character's name is Anna, I think is supposed to be like nonverbal autistic. I'm, Autism. I'm not exactly yeah. sure. The subtitle uh, said she's autistic. Okay. But she's definitely um, nonverbal. She's very high. Right. Like... right. Um, and, and then, you know, it said in the synopsis right away that they're developing these powers. So uh, it, it's really kind of neat <clears throat> how they do that because they show these, they're just playing, you know. It's just like you would say, to, hey, want to see something cool? And, uh, you know, a kid would like jump his bike over the curb or something. Well, this kid does something that's like uh, uh, in the realm of supernatural, I guess. Uh, so it goes on from there. And I was, I was just incredibly intrigued on how these, the kids kind of formed their own, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Ecosystem that the adults were just sort of exterior to it and sometimes <clears throat> interfering with, but didn't yeah. know what was going on. I just, I just, I don't know. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I think it's a great example of, I have no idea what the budget is. I didn't look, but to me, this is an example of how you can make it an impactful and, you know, we talked about it being slow. There's not very much dialogue either. So that's another reason why it might feel like it's long. But for me, there was a lot of really tense scenes that built that I was, you know, worried about what was going on. And again, some triggering things. Uh, again, if you're bothered by uh, violence to animals or kids probably not your thing so let's open it up to whatever anybody's wants to discuss about this well let's also say there's like matricide which is to me that was oh really that too one of the most yeah. brutal scenes i was like oh it absolutely is. Gah, golly moly yeah. dude well, By the way, and, we're, we're in spoilerville now so just yeah we are spoiler we are spoiler oh yeah so. yeah that just that blew my mind. I was like, I was like, Ooh. well, but I think, um, yeah, you talked about like the budget. I mean, there's some really, this is one of the few times where I didn't really see any, I didn't see the seams in any of the special effects, you know, because uh, mm -hmm. there's parts where it's almost, they almost go to like an upside down <laughs> place, but it's more in their people's mind and like a nightmare version of their mind where the person plays with them and stuff. And so, those kind of things worked really well. And I think, um, I think the main thing is it is very slow, but you, I think like, I think all of us are trying to figure out like, what is going on here? Why do these kids yes. have powers? What yeah. is, why is this happening? You know, is there some other force? Ha and they don't really, they don't really ex explain any of it. And I'm still kind of unsure how, the, how it ends. <laughs> per I se. think the other kids had powers. Like Did you kids. see the other kids? Yeah. yeah. I feel like the other kids the have that. So this, this place, where all these kids are at there, I guess uh, this, this feels like it's one of those things where it's like, there's some underlying thing in the soul or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're definitely left to your own. Yeah. Uh, Although imagination. This, this did feel like, I mean, even though this is a contemporary story, it did feel like something would happen in the eighties where the, all the parents are off doing yeah. their thing. The kids are off gallon van going, stuff mm -hmm. on their own nobody's really supervising i guess maybe towards the end there's a few parents that are supervising near that little creepy lake that i would let not let my kids near uh yeah. <laughs> if i had kids um but yeah everybody's unsupervised and all these things are happening and but yeah i mean it, it has all those there's a lot of in, i would say this film is uncomfortable you know but but in the right way i guess because I, I mean especially that young girl who you see those moments where she just wants to laugh and and have friends and she but also that she's very in the very beginning she's very abusive towards her sister her autistic mm -hmm. sister and that oh that really bothered me 
uh, and you, you kind of worried that she was going to go the way of the boy, you know, and, and uh, have you guys ever seen Chronicle? Yes. Chronicles feels kind of similar to where they have these people have, they figure they have superpowers and, and you, you wonder if you have powers, if you use it for good or bad. Um, and that's, that's all also the weirdness about, you know, curious to kill the cat type thing to where the <laughs> killed the cat. <laughs> well, I, I didn't mean that to be a pun, but that's, <laughs> and, and I think in this instance, that's what happens. You have this curiosity because, you know, we're all, when we're kids, we're curious, we have, we're curious about morbid things and like death and life mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And, and he goes to the nth degree and you're, and, and that one girl sort of allowing it to happen. You're like, Oh crap. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, she's afraid of him the whole time though. I really do. I think she's trying to be, I think she's like covering it up by her smiling and being ha, 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 with him. But I think she is afraid of him the whole time. Like yeah. I, I just feel like she, what? Yeah, yeah. At first when it starts off, she just, uh, he says, "What? Well, want to see what I can do?" And and he has her drop something, oh, wow. and yeah. instead Model of cat. having it go straight down, oh, that's it. he moves it so that it moves at an angle or or shoots off to the side. And she's like, "Oh, that's cool," and does it again. And then she tries it; she can't do it. So I I didn't really get that right at first, but I'll tell you what: when it gets to the part where he says, "I can make people do stuff," and she says, "Show me," and he does it, that that oh. definitely would have been. Well, yeah, yeah, that that's that'd be the time, you know, that I would. Yeah, I think you need to stop, you know, but uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I and I did. I loved I absolutely loved the relationship between the girl with the um, uh, the skin. Uh, yeah, uh, is it Vitalago? I can't. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And yeah. her and the, the autistic girl, just seeing that relationship and how that sort of brought out, you know, that the autistic girl, what was in her and, and allowing her to sort of like communicate more and stuff right right I, that that just seemed i mean it, it's funny because the the kids it's always very hard to bring out great performances in kids and this one I, it made me feel like these are real kids you know and, and 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 their joy like you mentioned previously crystal their joy just feels natural mm -hmm. this doesn't feel mm -hmm. like some kid trying to create a laugh that just feels like a natural laugh and and her interaction then you have that one moment where the mom sees her communicating and interacting and she breaks down it's like oh it's a very heart-wrenching but heart you know heartfelt moment so you have those moments in this even there's a lot of dark stuff that you see that and i think that's the strength of it is definitely a lot of the performances in these kids um, that, that would fit really well in a stephen king universe that's for sure so one thing okay i do appreciate i mean it's always scary and difficult you know to portray someone who has autism or something like that on screen um and sometimes i always feel like they go too far or something um but with this portrayal of her i feel like you know nonverbal is pretty much the highest you can get on the spectrum and i do appreciate that what they showed is she's okay inside inside of her everything she understands everything she knows what's going on she just can't communicate it that's the only part she has a difficulty with she's not gone she's not out of there she is there she is present she is feeling it she understands it and that that's what I, like the relationship with the girl you can understand that that she's all there she's totally fine she just can't communicate what she's trying to say and so well, and, and, I, yeah. yeah, that's, and, and that's so that, the so way that's, it is like, you know, so that's where yeah. her little sister, Ida, you know, we start off right off, like one of the opening scenes, they're riding in the car together and she reaches over to her older sister, Anna, and pinches her leg hard and there's no reaction whatsoever. <clears throat> and so I don't know if she thinks that there's a, there's a point where she, when they can communicate that she's asking her about it and she finds out it does hurt, but mm -hmm. she really doesn't think it hurts is what she tells. Right. I think she, she tells she's... Ben that, the little boy. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it's still kind of weird, you know, to be. 
to be well, doing that. But I well, can see how a kid does that. You know, she's like, mm -hmm. you know, she might resent. Well, she's like, like this is cool. This is weird. Guests, it's you know? cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, I think that's, I think that's, that's a good, that's a big part of, of the film is these kids and they're still trying to learn who they are and mm -hmm. learn about life and they don't understand it. You know, you have this young girl, she doesn't understand why her, her older sister acts the way she does. She just feels like she's a, I guess like a vegetable to some degree. She doesn't, if she doesn't respond to what I do physically, evidently she's not there, you know? Um, There's lots of I, adults that think that about autistic people. And that's why I'm saying, like, I do like that it shows that she's she is there she is there well, in her brain well, but the but but you have the other parents that are the sort of the same way you know like the the the, mm -hmm. the the one boy her mom you know doesn't really care much about she's too busy on her own phone the other mom never wants to deal with her daughter who seems mm -hmm. to have issues you know and 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 i think also it's kind of cool you have the other young girl who has the ability to understand people and communicate for them or see through their eyes, you know, which creates some really sort of creepy imagery, whether it's the, the blood dripping down the woman's head or, oh, yeah, or, that was or cool. the, or, or seeing the, the simple thing of just having like a window, you know, have condensation on a window from heat, right. you know, mm -hmm. there's right. some really, really great visual cues and things they do in the film to sort of hint at her abilities that, I don't know, just it works really well that you don't necessarily have to have all the special effects in the world to pull that off. You know, like when you have like Dr. Sleep or something like that, where it's has similar type, you know, themes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, and, and I, that's the part that I thought was real interesting is how they each had uh, slightly different powers. Although at first you don't really think Ida has any, the nine year old. Yeah, but she does, right? That's she what does. happened at the end. Okay. It does later, so. Um, okay, that's what I thought. They, I was confused. But, but because... You don't see her taking part in any of this stuff, but but like you said, Aisha is more about communicating, and she can somehow or another connect with Anna, and and then Anna can speak. You know, yeah. and she she says stuff, and then Anna can say it, and it's 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 sort of a, a mental connection that goes on in the building between apartments you know they're not even next to each other when they're they're having some of those conversations and then the boy is much more focused on how do i manipulate things and have control he's, and power. he hates his life like it's yeah, a sad yeah. he's a sad character like um you can't make and, it and it's just the other the wrong way yeah well exactly and the other thing that really got to me was how the kids were aware of how much danger they were in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the adults were totally clueless. They had no idea what was going on. And anytime the kid would say anything that would sort of relate to that, they just eh, would ignore it. And they didn't really try very much. Uh, but I just, the, mostly the kids were trying to, how can I get out? I have to go out or this, this, you know, like Anna, the girl was, Aisha is going to get hurt and I need to get over there. And they're, everybody's fighting. Anyway. Man, the that kids seemed... were the one that knew what was going on yeah, and they, couldn't, get to do, they yeah. couldn't go help the way they wanted to. You know, you yeah, know that... who's really destroyed after that is the mom. Because come on. <gasps> oh, no kidding. <sighs> yeah. And that scene where she has that uh, splinter in her leg. Oh, yeah. Ugh, mm -hmm. So uncomfortable watching that. It's like, I was like, why are you letting <laughs> do that to your sister? Just, Stop. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if we want to go there or not, but I think towards the end, and somebody, I think Crystal kind of mentioned it. Uh, I felt like I'm not sure that I got that the other kids had power, the rest of the kids in the apartment complex, but I felt like Anna could draw strength from them somehow oh. hmm. she became okay. far more because uh, all of a sudden when this there started to be this sort of one-on-one -on -one battle the other kids in the area all started to focus on the playground even though there was no noise or any action or anything going on hmm. and that was my thought you know well i think that's the thing it's it's a big big question mark as yeah. to what actually happened other than did there seem to be some kind of 
some kind of focus. I mean, the, 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 some kind of focus. I, I, and the thing is, I think the, the, the main themes are the film was about connection or disconnection. You have these kids that mm -hmm. finally find this connection and this one kid who's yes. totally disconnected from everybody. Exactly. And, yeah. and if you don't connect with me, I'm going to disconnect you <laughs> literally. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and he even, he even has to work through other people. He can't even do it himself. He has to work with other people too. Uh, and his way of connection is hurting other people. So, yeah, I mean, and I think that's, that's the cool thing about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, at the same time, it's like, it's not going to drive me nuts that I don't understand. Completely what right. Yeah. right. 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 I know. And that's odd. Cause normally I want to know, I want to know, I gotta know, or this, but I'm like, well, okay. I don't know. It's just, I think, cause I think it was just more about the characters. I think, I think if they ever made American remake, <laughs> They would just explain yeah. it. It's like this is on an oh, Indian yeah. burial ground, and uh, <laughs> they, would, they, would, they, they would. They would have all these. There's an the ancient you'd have turtle. To, turtle. You'd have to visit a paranormal institute. And have yeah, a, there's an evil <laughs> clown underneath that uh, controls the yeah. kids. I think they would try to over-explain it, and I don't. Yeah, I think I think in this instance, you don't need to really explain it. It's, it's there, and you can have a sort of an understanding, but it's more about these relationships and, and, uh, these kids and, and the arcs of their lives and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Well, let's, let's, uh, go to, uh, final thoughts, score and favorite scene. Uh, Christopher, you're up first. Um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely, um, uh, I definitely had to watch something funny after watching this. <laughs> It's, it's it's a very dreary dark film with a lot of uncomfortable stuff involving kids and i, I was like there's parts where i was like oh whether the stuff involving the cat and other things it's just like oh gosh this is i don't like this <laughs> please stop um but yeah, they don't it, shy away from that at all it doesn't shy away <laughs> yeah. from it but i think it's one of those films where it's it doesn't revel in it you know it's not torture porn it, it's mm -hmm. actually you feel for that you feel for the the situations and you kind of understand these characters don't really know what they're doing you know i mean the especially with the the kid and his mom oh, oh. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and how he's sort of like I don't think he really understands what he's doing. And that's, that's how, how I kids get in trouble. A lot of times they don't understand yeah. what they're doing. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's a very interesting film that I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure if this film can be made <laughs> in the U S as it, it, especially with a lot of the stuff we have going on right now. It's, I, I think it's a very, uh, it's got some balls on it. That's for sure. Uh, and it feels very Scandinavian to me. Like, very, very much, very much. I mean, yeah. it is, it has that kind of like, mood <laughs> mm -hmm. which i don't know if most scandinavian stuff is dreary but i feel like a lot of it has that kind of mood about <laughs> it or atmosphere about it um but yeah i think it's got some really great performances by these kids amazing performances it made me believe the situation or maybe feel like oh don't do that or, or like oh god why did you do that um so i and i i think i think my only again my only gripe is i feel like it's it it's it's too it feels like it's too long i think it's all there's a lot of scenes that are drawn out that in some ways you would create tension or atmosphere but at some point it's like it just feels a little too drawn out i think it definitely could have been cut down a little bit but it's still a good movie regardless um i'll give it a four out of five i i, I was really yeah. impressed by the cinematography in it nice. um you know again there's these really sort of these up, I kept thinking, how are they shooting these upside down camera moves <laughs> around buildings and stuff? I guess it's an upside down drone or something, but it it it, it, it just adds to the atmosphere. Anything about a, to happen? There was a really disoriented, or I mean, I think it was a drone shot of kids riding their bicycle on the playground in their shadows. It just was yeah, like, yeah. what mm -hmm. the hell? Is, what I couldn't I couldn't get my mind around how. Well, it was. and it it, it takes these. Well, and it's like these certain things, buildings and stuff, which if you shot it normally, I think it'd be okay. But shooting it upside down in that way, it just it, it, it just adds a foreboding atmosphere mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it really adds to the, the creepiness, you know. I mean, this is definitely very Stephen King-ish. Um, uh, yeah, and I, it and, is. And, um, and I keep comparing to Stranger Things, which is probably why my favorite scene is the, the upside down snake scene. <laughs> 
<laughs> as, as someone that hates snakes <laughs> myself, and this is why I don't go out in the forest. Wilderness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, once he goes down, they grab a stick and it's a snake. And then, then we turn into, they change it to sort of like this, uh, this nightmare world. It's the real world, but yeah. now it's sort of through nightmare vision. And then there's this creepy, like, one-legged creature i mean the, i mean there's, yeah. what that was so interesting so the, there's a lot of really yeah. cool nightmare imagery that you see throughout that kind of plays into the nature that this person has this sort of psychokinetic ability to sort of control your mind and put you in this different world and make you do things because you're scared which is even scarier it's not like yeah. they're controlling you they're just making you think something scary is happening so you're, you're just going to respond to it um so that that's probably my favorite scene because i was like oh my because <laughs> I think I, I I came close to crapping my pants <laughs> seeing her grab a snake uh, and see some creepy guy in this forest. So uh, our creepy creature, whatever that was, um, creeper. Which you see uh, another nightmare thing happens later. Yeah, There's a creep, yeah, yeah. Creepy version of the little girl. So yeah, so that's my favorite scene. Okay, uh, Crystal, how about you? Okay, so uh, I really really enjoyed this film. Like, I think we've warned you enough. So if you watch it, you've been warned. So if you can kind of stay objective like I did, it helps. So you can kind of just watch it. And for some reason, these kids are just fascinating to watch. I just think they're so interesting. I don't know why. Maybe it's just their performances. It just, I just was captivated by these children. I mean, children are creepy anyway mm -hmm. sometimes. So, you know. Um, I'm giving it a four as well. Yay. Um, I really like, it might actually wind up making my top 10. I don't know. I, I probably will watch it again. Kind of have to wrap my head around it some more. <laughs> it, it wasn't anything like what I expected. I knew I liked it and really enjoyed it, but it was like, whoa, I think there was a lot to digest here. So, um, my favorite scene Oh gosh, I don't know. There was a lot of cool little scenes. I think I liked. Uh, oh, I I liked the shark drawing. You know, there was multiple. I I liked the oh, connection oh, oh. that the kids had, and then so when someone was when they were trying to draw things and have this connection, she there was this shark drawing, and it actually happened three times with three different mm -hmm. children, and I just thought I. I don't know. I just, I just liked that. It was simple and it was something simple, but it was just weird and off and it was in three different mediums. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. That gets, so, that one leads to the, uh, you know, condensation on the window too. That yeah. Christopher was talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. All righty. Well, I like this. I said, I like this a lot and I'll, I'll just spit this out. I'm giving it a 4.5. Yeah. Um, there's a good chance it'll be in my top 10, but stuff's coming hot and heavy right now. It seems like every week we get yeah. something that yeah. could be a top 10. <laughs> uh, but I just loved following these kids and the progression of these powers. And then again, the interplay with the adults and how the kids kind of started to figure out how they could use it. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I did end up watching this twice because I watched it by mistake like a week and a half ago. <laughs> I thought mm. it was going to be for last week. So I watched the screener and then I went, oh, shoot, that's not the right one. Um, so I watched it again and I, I had just as much, I enjoyed it as much. But it's not a, it's not a feel happy. <laughs> um, mm. The ending, you know, is, is uh, anyway. And, and it does have kind of a weird last scene where you feel like uh, it almost looks like something's the next thing, something's going to happen. It, mm -hmm. I felt like boy, she erases that, that pad. And yeah. Then, um, mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, I, I, I was enthralled with this. And the, the four kids, Raquel, Lenora, Flotton, Alva, Brinsmu, Ramstad, Sam Ashraf and Mina Yasmin Bremseth Ashheim. Uh, yeah, Ashraf. Uh, Sam Ashraf. Ashraf. 
Ashraf. Uh, it, they were. Awesome. I know that last name. That's that's all. They were <laughs> they were awesome. So um, and and make this totally believable. And it starts off just like you would think it would. You know, this little girl goes out on the playground and the new place she lives, and you know, walks up to another kid. Hey, you live here? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you know. And I just thought I just found yeah, that so... to be really realistic. You know. And anyway. And fascinating, uh, still, even though it's right, right. It's just weird. Mm -hmm. I don't. I could pick a lot of favorite scenes. I'm. I'm not going to say the cat scene because <laughs> that would be too weird. But I, I'm going to pick one. <laughs> so we know that this guy can manipulate people, and he's already done it once to uh, serious results, and so. I think this is towards the end. The girls are playing in their apartment and their mother, uh, Anna and I are playing and their mother is like uh, fixing dinner and she's chopping some stuff up. And all of a sudden she stops and looks around and Ida's watching her and going, oh crap, oh, mm -hmm. he's got her. So she runs and hides and locks her door. And then a little while later, the mother comes and says, oh, I, I need to go to the store to pick something up for dinner and leaves. And that allows the girls to some freedom, right? Well, when it first happened, I was worried that the, the boy was causing it. But afterwards, I thought, well, maybe Anna was doing it because she wanted them to Mandalay. be able to, to, to move around. Yeah. Um, hmm. Or maybe or the maybe, mom just realized maybe, all of a sudden she forgot something. That's, that's right. Point. That's a possibility. <laughs> but just the way you're right. It could, it could be any of those, but that's what makes it. And so I just, the kids were very smart. I mean, they start yeah. coming up with these Machiavellian <laughs> plans. To Can y'all answer? Just, I do have a question. Okay. So the first guy that he possesses to go and, you know, kill that kid was that the girl's dad yeah did you see the photo so. it showed the yeah. photo so he screwed over her whole family right right she's in rise wow okay yeah. okay that's folks. what i thought okay yeah okay so <laughs> once again this one will be uh the innocence as a yeah not so film. innocent <laughs> subtitles not so innocent will yeah. be uh streaming on shutter on august 18th so i think we're all saying you should check this out unless yeah. some of that triggering is not your thing so just be aware yep absolutely be aware so uh thanks christopher and crystal appreciate it and no uh we'll see check you next us out time. again be sure to subscribe and, and all that stuff so say good night Good night. Good night. <laughs>